Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 15 of Level Grinding, the daily hustle. Uh, this morning, I have coffee with a friend of mine, and it's literally like in an hour. I totally overslept, was not even thinking about it, and then got up and realized, oh man, I gotta get going. Uh, so I just got back from walking the dog, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up and get ready to go to that meeting. Hill Hub, which is a coffee shop in the neighborhood, meeting my friend Andrea, and we're going to talk about uh, opportunities, resources uh, for coaching people. And this is really because a lot of you are asking, hey, how can I do this stuff that you're doing? And I want to be able to give you guys uh, more resources and better content um, and better ways of just giving you what you need. Here we are, Park Hill Hub. Okay, so this is supposed to be the mocha that will turn he shall not be named into Hagrid. It's called the zebra today. Oh, I do the same thing because it's just one of those like, well, I'm looking at this. Where did that come from? <laughs> or even when I'm standing straight. Right. Because I never practiced. I just had the best conversation with Andrea. Um, I got a lot of new ideas for some things to share with you um, and to start making available. Um, I got some work to do before I can do it, but I'm excited about some of the stuff that can be coming down the pike. So I'm going to get home. I'm going to get started on those um, MailChimp emails that I'm supposed to start going through. Um, my website's all up to date, so I can get back to the actual process of networking, which is fantastic. Uh, start using the new material that I created to show people this is what I can do. Um, so, yeah, today is going to be an awesome day. Oh, and I should probably mention this. The Park Hill Hub is amazing. If you're in Denver, you should totally go visit. And opening up my email to get started on this MailChimp stuff, um, I found a draft of an email that I started to the team at Adobe Clip. Um, being a professional editor and editing entirely on my smartphone, um, I had a lot of feedback to give them based on my experience working in Premiere Pro, working in Final Cut Pro 7, um, just saying, hey, I would like a little bit more control and here's how I think you can make Adobe Clip a little bit better. So I'm excited to send this off, um, but it has also delayed my time working on the other stuff. But I really see this as a huge improvement to the app if they could implement these things. Yes, I know, I feel like uh, my suggestions are, of course, the best in the world. So, um, but yeah, if you were uh, like me and trying to do a full mobile editing experience, Adobe Clip is amazing, um, and it's definitely one of the best apps uh, available. Um, I literally went through every single app in the Google Play Store trying to find the best editor, and Adobe Clip is the best, and I really hope that they take into consideration some of these suggestions, because it would make it even better. So I figured out what's been causing my neck pain. It actually has everything to do with sitting at my table. So I'm going to uh, move to the couch just because it holds my neck in a much better way. Um, and while I'm at the couch, I'm going to work on starting to send these emails. Um, you know, it's a really scary thing to ask people for their feedback, um, but a lot of people don't do this, um, which I think is really kind of dumb. Because if you're making content or offering products and services for people and it's not what they need, then you're being kind of silly because if you ask people what they want, they're more likely to tell you and then you can actually provide that content. So the first thing I'm doing is exporting the list of everybody who is following a MailChimp. Uh, this will come in as a spreadsheet and then I can use the data in that to find out who I need to email. I'm also, at the same time while waiting for that, drafting the beginning of the emails that I'm going to start sending out. Um, I've got this one that's a, a thank you for subscribing and then I'm going to send another one to the people that aren't really interacting or who have unsubscribed to my list in the last few months uh, just to find out why and how I could have served them better. So the first thing I did was color code everybody in order of importance so kind of rank like as a high to low and then I went ahead and emailed um, a few people today. Um, the reason why is because I don't want to email so many people that I can't keep up with the responses. So I'm going to email probably four or five of these people um, 
once a week. That way I can collate answers and better provide content. So you've probably seen these on my uh, bookmark that I keep inside my Midori notebook. Um, it is a schedule for the day that includes work blocks and rest blocks. Um, I try to keep rest blocks in throughout my day and the reason for this is that I'm often working on multiple different client projects doing different tasks and if I go from immediately one into the next one it just takes me time to get into the groove of things and try and figure out what am I trying to do and this wastes time for my clients so I build rest breaks into my day so that I can have the time to put the one client away and start work on the next one without having to go through that startup phase of trying to remember where the heck I left off. So I'm going to take a rest break now because the next project I'm going to do is review that blog post for screenlight.tv that I wrote last week. And a rest break is very much needed right now because I really haven't taken one all day. I took a break once Ruba got home and then we had supper so I'm back at this afterwards and I've just finished not counting the uh, information up here uh, which is just like which blog I wrote this for what the title is when all this other stuff um, I have taken this blog post from about 12,000 words down to 956 which is really good um, and that's been largely accomplished by taking out a lot of the passive voice tightening up sentences and more clearly communicating what I'm trying to do so once this is online, I'll be sure to include it in a link in the description and let you know when this has been posted to screenlight.tv. So of my work tasks to get today, I got um, a meeting with my friend Andrea done. I did my MailChimp stuff that I needed to do, and I reviewed that Screenlight blog. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it one more look tomorrow just to make sure that all of my edits actually made sense tonight. And I'll get to this client uh, tomorrow as well. So it's the end of the day. I'm feeling really good about this week. Uh, even though I spent a lot of it uh, working on my website, I've actually been able to get a lot done uh, in the time today and in yesterday. So a bunch of my tasks that I wanted to have done, I'm feeling really good about. So uh, tomorrow, um, it's Friday, I'm probably going to have a phone call with a friend of mine from California um, just to catch up with her, and then I've got some client work that I want to get to um, just to get some hours in and to get some stuff done. Uh, these are the people that I wanted to get in uh, earlier this week, back when it was still October, but it really doesn't matter with these guys. Um, I'm going to get paid whenever I do the work, so whether I tack it in on one month or another really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I'll be working on that tomorrow, um, and this is the end of day 15. So uh, yeah, if you like these videos, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to comment. I love your comments. Um, they are really uh, encouraging to me because it lets me know what you guys want and uh, how I can help you guys and knowing that this is actually resonating with you. Um, and so feel free to share. Um, and also, if you're not a subscriber, I want to invite you to subscribe to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Sorry, it's late at night and I'm getting all tongue-tied. Uh, but yeah, I share this information um, about what I do every single day to help you out because I want to see you get to where you want to go with your life. So if this is something you find interesting, please subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow.